Happy Sunday, everyone. It's Duty Addict 625, and I am back with another live. I am extremely late today. I am um, uh, in Nashville. This is the week that um, my sister and I are uh, packing up my mom's house. It has uh, sold and um, it's just been a really emotional day. I was not going to do, I planned to do live, decided not to do it. Now I'm doing it. Um, it it's going to be a little bit of a distraction, but I do have a couple of things that I want um, to share with you. Um, a couple of them are bag related because I've shared some things with you. Um, that were not available on the site that have now become available. Um, so I want to share those with you and let you know because they have a promotion going on. Um, I'm going to apologize for the lighting because as I shared, um, we're packing and um, this is kind of as good as it's going to get tonight other than me not doing anything at all. Um, so I want to share um, some news with you, and then I actually have um, a bag comparison. So I did travel with two small bags um, so that I could show you the comparison and things that I learned. So if you would, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Bear with me tonight. I promise to try to not keep you long, um, but I did want to share some news. So you all know that uh, Peter and I have been estranged uh, for a little bit, um, but I have gradually been making my way back to Dooley, and during the course of me making my way back to Dooley, I actually received an invitation to join Dooney's new social media influencer program. So I want to share that with you because I am excited. I was making my way back to Dooney even before that came up. And if you go back and look at the videos, um, you'll be able to see where I started pulling things back out. I was making comparisons and even in the comparisons was being, you know, transparent with you about what I liked, what I didn't like, which is always what I will do on this channel. Um, so a couple of things. One, I know that um, as a watcher of YouTube and a follower of other influencers, I know that at times, once a, um, a, a content creator becomes affiliated or they start benefiting from a relationship, that there are these huge swings in levels of support. So... I want to lead by sharing with you a couple of things. Um, so the first is I have a legal background and I am not interested in picking a fight with the FTC. There are some very specific guidelines that the FTC requires for influencers as they disclose relationships with brands, um, if they have received something um, in gratis or for free, um, if they are being paid to create content, um, they are also very specific in their guidelines as to um, the disclosures. So you have to be truthful in your disclosures. And if the FTC comes after you, it is up to $47,000 per fine. And needless to say, I don't think that's a battle I can win. And I'm even happier to report that as a result of this relationship, nothing is changing um, with the exception of I now have some affiliate links. Um, I can remember several years back, uh, pre-zombie uh, pre apocalypse, when, um, and, and I'm sure some of you have been with me throughout that entire time, some of you were new, some of you, you know, whatever. Um, have, have kind of come and gone or, or, or check as you're doing research. 
Um, but during that time, there were a couple of folks that actually worked for our QVC that were um, in the live chat. Um, there was a period of time where I planned a couple of meetups and there was live streaming and discounts and things of that nature that Duty actually provided for my community. Um, additionally, there have been, um, unrelated to handbags, there have been a couple of other things that I received that I was very transparent with you about. One of them was a backpack. Um, there was a salt and pepper meal um, uh, grinder that when I was doing like the Hello Fresh and the blue apron boxes, I shared that with you. Those are still in use in my ca uh, kitchen on the counter every day. They have lasted that long and are amazing. All of that to say, I'm happy about the relationship. I hope that you are too, because um, as my nephew has shared with me, he was like, it's been a long time in the making. I have been an avid lover of Duty and Burp since before I was an influencer on YouTube. And you guys know, I will continue to tell you the good, the bad, the ugly about what I purchased. Uh, up to this point, I have not been provided anything from Dooney, and according to FTC guidelines, if and when I do, I will be sure to disclose that here on the channel. So you're going to get the same thing, but I want to be very, very clear that I have become, since we last were together, I have become a Dooney affiliate. What that means is I have affiliate links to products um, and if you are kind enough to use those links when you are making a purchase I may benefit from a small commission from your purchase so now the next thing that I want to point out um, is I cannot be bought. <laughs> My boss at work uh, is slowly learning that. I had a um, meeting a couple of weeks ago with an EVP and she asked me a question and I think she was caught a little off guard uh, by my answer because this is what you get. I, you know, I have my own opinions and they cannot be bought. And again, I'm happy to say that Dooney has not asked me to do any of that. It is purely affiliate links. Um, and if they get to the point where they send me any product um, in gratis, I will be sure to share that with you. But uh, they already know if I don't like it or if it doesn't work for me, I'm gonna continue to give you the pros and the cons, the good, the bad, um, for whatever is in my collection because I believe that is why you continue to come back and support the channel um, and value my opinion on bags that are in my collection. All right. So I do have some links down below and I want to share these with you because there is a new Alto bag on Dooney.com, and it is the Alto Aria, A-R-I-A. All right, so you may remember, it's probably been a couple of Sundays, a few Sundays back, I was doing a mini bag comparison, and the Alto Ella was one of the bags that I mentioned. That bag has since sold out, and I got it on an amazing promotion when it was available. The price of that bag went up after that promotion, and it has never, even with the promo code, it has not been back down to that price since. So, this is another new bag that is included in the current 30% off promotion. Aria is $195. She is in my cart in the color red. I'm going to pull the trigger on her. Um, but with the 30% off, she comes down to $165. Why do I like this bag? Why am I interested in this bag? Remember during the holidays and afterwards, I critiqued the, the Dooney 
commercial that aired on YouTube where it was kind of this party scene. They had a bunch of different ladies. They had a bunch of different bags, but they were all different silhouettes in Florentine and they were all in the color natural. And I commented that there were so many other different bags and varieties that they could have featured in that particular video. And the Alto Ella was one of those bags. And I commented then, I got it at a stiller price. I think it may have been one of those glitch deals, but Aria is one of those bags that had I been filming that video now, I would have recommended that bag or this bag, the Alto Aria bag, as one of those bags that is after five, brunch, small carry, essentials. It just works and it's new. And it's Alto for less than $200. Why do I like it as well? It's because the strap is detachable. So if you wanted to use it in, as a clutch, if you wanted to use it inside of another bag, I think it will work for that. Now there's another bag that is similar in style to this Alto bag, um, but the dimensions for me, I don't believe it will work for me for essentials. I also don't think that it's on sale included in the 30% off, so I didn't list that one. Um, but I want you to take a look at that one. And again, if you're looking for links, they are down in the description box. They are affiliate links. I'm going to continue to emphasize that because I don't want anybody to think that they are being misled. And again, I don't want any issues with the FTC. They are affiliate links. If you are kind enough to use one of those links, then I may benefit monetarily from a small commission. All right. So that's the first one, the Alto Aria. I'm picking it up in red. The next one, we're going over now to I Love Dooney. All right, so I Love Dooney. I did a video a little while back where I took a small Janine crossbody, detached the leather strap, and compared it to an Hermes um, catch-all from a few years back. I also included that same small bag in my recent Will It Grab and Go video. Well, guess what? On ILD, there is a promo code PERFECT, and that little small Janine crossbody is a whopping $49, and they have it in pebble grain in red, and they have it in pebble grain in midnight blue. Do you even have to ask which color is in my cart? I am picking up the red and between the Toscana ginger color one that I have, which is natural and goes with everything. And I thought I brought it with, I know I traveled with it, but I think it may be in the car. Shoot. I'm in my nephew's room, ill ill prepared okay but that one why do i like that one one it it, it works as a catch-all i use it as a junk drawer i've never carried it as a small crossbody there were several of you that during those videos asked about it and that janine that small janine crossbody was not available it is available now in pebble grain in the color red and in midnight navy I like the idea of the Midnight Navy, but y'all know every time I order something from Dooney and Midnight, I get it and it looks black. So I just can't take um, the plunge on that one. But for $49, that one, the one that I'm telling you about now on ILD is actually cheaper than the Toscana one when I purchased it. The, if you're looking back for like videos and trying to see where I did that comparison, it is a Greta um haul video and um i will try to remember to link it down in the bottom as well i don't think that that was in was included here's another one that's included the bag that i carried not this past year because this past year i was in furlough for breast cancer awareness but the year before if you recall i did finally participate in dj king's um, breast cancer awareness pink bag haul 
Y'all know I'm not, I know I'm sitting in pink right now, but I'm not a pink girl. Um, but I picked up out of, I, well, I had in my collection, I pulled out, it is called the Dooney Flap Crossbody. I had it in like the magenta pink or fuchsia, and it was in Safiano. I have linked down below if you want to refresh yourself on that video, but that bag is back. It is in pebbled leather, and wait for it. Dooney has released again the color Oyster. I love Oyster. It is a pinky nude color. I have the Oyster in, ooh, I have it in a Mitchell satchel in pebbled leather. I have Oyster in a couple of Alto bags, including the Lissandra bag that I got as a graduation gift when I graduated law school. Um, I also have Oyster in um, the Alto, I think it's called Trina, which is like a little tabletop clutch. Um, there are a couple of other things. All of that to say that Oyster color is not always available. I also have it in the Leisure Shopper because that was the one that I picked up after the Henry Bendel one died a slow death with the calendar straps. That color is not always available, but if you go on to the information box, um, there are a couple of different options that are linked. I, of course, am interested in the Oyster color because it is a year-round neutral. It's polished. It's clean. Um, it can work as a winter white. It can work as a summer neutral. I was really surprised at how much that bag held. So again, I have that video linked if you're looking to become familiar with that bag again and whether, you know, what my thoughts were on it. So that was from two years ago. Again, I have it in Safiano. It is now available in pebbled leather in a variety of colors, but the one that I have linked below is the color oyster because that's what's in my cart. I'm pulling the trigger as soon as this is done. All right, couple others. So when I did the will it grab and go, I had um, the Dooney clutch wallet. And there were several people in the chat and in the comments that asked if, or at least a couple, that asked where they could find it, if it was available, and it was not available. And it's still not available, but, but, Dooney has a new bag on, again, ILB that is similar to that bag. And that is the Pebble Brain Casey Crossbody. So pull that one up. I think I have it linked below, but if you're just on ILB, do a search for Casey, C-A-S-E-Y, and take a look at it. It has the same silhouette. The organization is not different because the Dooney Clutch Wallet has the snap pocket on the front, crossbody strap, and then it has a zipper compartment in the back that also has card slots. The Casey is not set up the same way, but it does have that same structural design. And it is also in the color Oyster. It's in my cart and it is on sale after the code. I think the code is perfect for $129, $129. So that one is in there. Also, those of you that I'll, and there have been a couple of people like, show Deluxe Mo, what is it? I've shown Deluxe Mo a few times, but Deluxe Mo, also linked down below, is available now in Oyster, along with the large zip around wallet that so many of us have shown, um, similar to like the LV Zippy wallet, the Coach, um, I think it's the Coach Slim or the accordion wallet. Dooney's version of that is the large zip around wallet. It is available in Pebbled for 70, I think it's $69. They also have it available that one, the one that's included in the sale has the metal plate. The one that has the leather patch, if you are just doing a search for the color Oyster, it's available, but it's not included in the, in the current sale. So I didn't link it because I don't want, and I think it's like $133.
So I didn't link that one. Some of you may prefer that one because it's all leather as opposed to that metal logo plate being on the front of the wallet. But that's the one in the color Oyster along with several others that are included in the current perfect promotion. So Deluxemo, the large zip around wallet, both of them in the color Oyster are available and included in the promo. And again, if you do any kind of color searching on Dooney or if you or I love Dooney and you notice that there are certain colors that are always available and some that are completely missing, you know, Oyster is not one of those colors that you can easily find. It's just like geranium being kind of a seasonal color or the color tomato. You don't find those on Dooney all the time or on I Love Dooney. So I wanted to point them out. They're included in the promotion and I wanted to share those with you. Okay, so I think those are all of my notes, but Here's um, a couple of my tribe sisters know that over the last, I'm going to say, two zombie apocalypse years, I have purchased by accident duplicates of some accessories and smaller bags. Um, yet another reason that I had contractor to look at my space because organization has become dire for me. And that has nothing to do with anything else. Y'all know I have been gradually been on this journey to try to get organized. And all of the things that I've tried seem to be temporary um, or I grow out of them and I need to just figure out one, what I want to do in that space. Two, um, I need to find something permanent. Three, I definitely need to purge some rehome um, some bags and quite honestly and I'm going to say this without crying I'm going to try to say it without crying um, the space that I use as the Dooney vault I had drug my feet for several years and just did temporary things because I always thought that as my mom aged that if she ever needed to move in with me that that would be the space that she would go into. Um, it's on the um, main level. It's easily accessible to everything. And I just couldn't see myself putting anything permanent in that space. Because I wanted to make sure that if she needed to come stay with me, that I would be able to do so very easily. I wouldn't have to have stuff ripped out. Um, that, of course, is no longer a consideration for that space. And I am trying to figure out what I want that to look like. Okay, back to the bag. There was a bag a few years ago that I missed out on. The bag has relaunched, but when I purchased it, I thought that I already had it because it had relaunched previously. Bear with me. I'm going to get to showing you. So I bought the bag. I've shared the bag with you, recently showed you what fits, recently carried it, used it. And then I saw my Pursuit of Happiness video um, of a bag that she purchased on the secondary market. And when I looked at her video, I thought, her bag is bigger than mine. I, I, yeah, that bag, I think I bought it in the bigger version, but I couldn't place it. So as I was... Um, moving, again, I'm trying to, you know, contractors kind of in and out and stuff. I wanted, I moved some things around and I found the bag. So here's what I'm talking about. There are two different sizes. I don't think that I remembered this when I made the purchase. Um, but there are two different sizes in this. 
Am I the only one that didn't remember that the original version was larger? It really is like a small handbag. And now we have like the mommy and me versions. And this is actually the one that I featured in the grab and go. These right now are not, I didn't see them um, on Dooney.com or on I Love Dooney when I did the search for clutches. So I apologize of the things that I talk about. And of course, that I'm showing you tonight, these are not available. If I find them, I'll do a community post, but I didn't see them on them. Um, so I shared what I thought were good deals with the Alto Aria being number one at $165. New on sale. I don't, I sometimes do me get the prices wrong and then they will change them or the next promotion. You won't see it go back down to that less than $200 price. But anyway, um, so I, I have both of these. Both are in Florentine, but as you can see, there is a noticeable difference in the size. And this size, the mommy size, this is actually called the medium. This is the size in Safiano that My Pursuit of Happiness showed on her channel. And it's the one that made me go back and say, wait a minute, my bag is not that big meaning this one, because this is the one that I recently purchased um, during the holidays, during the door, I think this was a door buster. And I've loved it. I've used it. And I've shown you what fits. But when I saw hers, I was like, wait a minute, that is not the same size. So I went and found it. Why didn't I originally purchase these? You probably heard this if you follow because I've said it every single time I've talked about this bag, it's because I felt like this bag was made backwards because the patch is on the back, on both of them. And the amazing whip stitching is on the front, but I'll be honest, at the time when this collection was available, I was more in love with Dooney's branding than I was with the whip stitching. As you get older and your palette changes your fashion sense develops things evolve and i fell in love with the whip stitching but at that point this collection was no more and i well anyway i have them now two different versions this one is just the clutch wristlet this one is considered the medium Medi medium pocket clutch, and this one is just the pocket clutch. So I guess we could consider this one small, and this one is identified as medium. This one likely is going to be the size that you find maybe more often on the secondary market. This one is also available in Safiano leather. I don't know if it was available in Pebble, because again, I didn't remember that this bag was in my collection in this size. Now, I have struggled to answer the question of if I remembered that I already had this one, would I have purchased this one in the smaller size in the same color? And I would have made a purchase but if I remembered that I had this one in the larger size, look at that. I probably would have opted for the T-Moral Brown in this one. Or the, I think it was also available in Natural Florentine. I might have opted for a different color, but I still would have picked it up. But I legitimately did not remember that I had this one. So that's back to you know, zombie apocalypse, having picked up a couple of things. Because I purchased this one, I am pretty sure that this was one of my last purchases from QVC. Uh, because that's where it was relaunched. And I am 99% sure that that's where I picked this one up from. So, um, this one is definitely grab and go size or mini bag size. This one could be, if you're a smaller bag carrier, 
This one could actually be a smaller everyday bag. Let me just kind of do that side profile so you can see the difference. So there it is. So definitely longer. The depth though, there is some difference in the depth. I think this one is probably depth wise going to be similar to the Alto Aria that I mentioned earlier. And the bottom of this one, I, the, of the mommy size, the larger, the medium, I think this one is still going to be a little bit smaller than the, what is it, the um, Casey. Because Casey, and I wonder if Dooney got the dimensions wrong on the depth, Casey has like a four and a quarter, a four or four and a quarter um, depth on that crossbody, which is why I'm super interested in it. But that's going to be more like the butt of the Charleston. It's going to be more like the butt of the Dooney crossbody that many of us have. It's going to be more like the butt of a little bit smaller than Cooper, but it gets, that one's going to have a little bit more depth than this one. So this one is going to be more like the Alto Aria because I think it's like one and a quarter or one and a half. And then Casey, I think is four or four and a quarter. So that is, I think this one is two. So it's going to be almost two of those as a crossbody. I'm curious about that one. Like um, I've, sent a couple of messages to a couple of my tribe sisters saying, does, is this right? Does this, like, does that bag in the picture, does the butt of it look like it's that deep? Now, the good news is, is that even if it's this, I can make it work because I made this work, but I really am curious about the size of that Casey and how it compares to the Dooney Clutch Wallet because I want to see, you know, one has outside pocket, one doesn't. It has the smaller slip pocket, which is likely not going to work for anything other than maybe lippies because it's not going to, it doesn't appear, at least on the pictures, to be wide enough for a smartphone. And um, I can't remember what the organization in the inside is, but I feel like it's got a zip pocket and a I think that's it. I think it just has an inside zip. So, mommy, me, kind of wish I'd pick this up now in a different color. Um, but it's water under the bridge now. I could not remember getting this one. And now I know that I have an oyster color because, not oyster, light taupe. But now I'm wondering if it's this size or if there's a size in between these. I couldn't put my hands on that one. But I do know that I purchased, that was actually the first one that I purchased. But now I can't remember what size it is. So I'm going to try to come across it. And then if it is a different size, then I'll come back and do, you know, a size comparison so you can see what the small the medium, and I don't know what the other one would be called, so maybe it is the medium. Anyway, I am tapped out. Um, I'm excited about the opportunity with Dooney. Um, admittedly, this was probably not the best weekend for me to launch, um, but I was excited because I just, we tied all of the knots and everything up on Friday so I wanted to share um, that news because I you've been with me so I wanted to share that um, but at the same time being um, at my mom's and my sister and I you know and my nephew going through 
basically her life. And I have not had to do that with any of my family members. And I know I've shared losses with you, um, but there have always, I guess, been, it was either my mom or her siblings or those family members, immediate family, spouses, children, that actually went through their stuff. Um, so it has been a super, super emotional um, day. One, because um, I lost track of the number of conversations that I had with my mom about wanting to partner with Dooney and you know, talking about representation and, you know, all the money that I've spent with them and, you know, for a long, long time, the content on my channel was exclusively duty. So to be at this point, to be announcing it to you and to also be here packing up her stuff, it just has been a super emotional um, day. So thank you for joining. I appreciate the support. I understand that um, not everyone will come along with me for this next chapter in my influencer journey. Um, and I Wish that you would, but respect wholeheartedly if you choose not to. Um, so I'm going to end there because I said that I was going to just do YouTube tonight and not venture off, and it has been hard to do. So please be sure to hit the thumbs up before you head out. Um, again, links are down below. If you choose to, great. If you don't, again, respect that everybody has their reasons for or not um, supporting and using affiliate links. I do hope that it makes it a little bit easier at least for you to identify the items that I talk about um, if they are available. And again, the one that I actually showed you tonight, neither one of these um, were available, so they are not linked below, but I did want um, to show you the differences in the sizes because, again, it didn't dawn on me until after I saw my Pursuit of Happiness video, um, hers in Safiano, that I realized that her recent um, bad reveal was this size, and it was noticeable on camera, which made me uh, you know, curious about my earlier purchases and I realized that I have the same bag, mommy and me, pocket, clutch, and this one is the medium. Um, so I have both. Thank you so very much to the team at Dooney and Burke. Um, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you for the invitation. Um, thank you for your patience. I know that when they realized that they were sending documents over, and I'm not saying that other influencers um, don't read them or don't have questions because I don't know that with any level of certainty, but I will tell you that with my law background, uh, it, took, it did take us a little while, um, and I appreciate them connecting with me in real time and working around, you know, my day job, because this is not how I pay my bills. Um, I do have a day job. Um, and they were more than gracious and flexible um, to avail themselves to me to answer the questions that I had before um, we moved forward. So um, I guess you can say Peter and I have rekindled um, but that is not to say that I am going to do, um, you know, exclusive because I have still made purchases from other places. So um, until they make me exclusive, I will continue to share with you what I have in my collection. And again, if they 
provide anything to you that I have not paid for, then I will let you know. Uh, but it, but this is my money. This is my money. The links that I just shared with you, that's going to be me buying as you do with my money. So um, there, there you have it. So again, thank you so very much. I know that I was super late. I appreciate you joining because it has been a struggle just to get it together today. Um, I know some of you know firsthand um, what today has been like for me and there's still more to go. Um, so again, thank you so very much. I do appreciate all of your support and until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.